Okay, sir. I got it. Okay, thank you. Okay. So now tell me one thing. If LF, if L effective is reduced, that is, poly is edged a little more. What happens? Will I get a fast device or a slow device? Fast device. Huh? It will be fast. It will be fast device. It will be fast. Why? Because we know that the model is k w by l into v g s minus v t the whole square stuff like that. Hmm? So l comes in the denominator. If the length is lesser, etching has happened a little more, then the current will be more. So I get a fast device. Hmm? So how should my uh, VT change? How should my VT change to get a fast device? Should VT reduce or should VT increase? It should reduce, sir. It increase. should reduce. Why? Because of the VGS minus VT term. Yes. Yes. VT reduces, VGS minus VT term increases, and therefore current increases. Great. What about TOX? Uh, TOX also should reduce nominally. Uh, 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 no, sir. It should, uh, yeah, it should reduce. Just uh, because you need to increase the uh, C ox. Yes, as the T ox reduces, it increases the C ox, which leads to more current. Hmm? Uh, but sir, all of these like, if you decrease VT, then you are also like increasing the sub sub threshold conduction or. If then you are also increasing the sorry, sorry, what you are saying, you are also the increasing the threshold conduction will increase, right? Yeah, that increase. is happening. But my device is fast, now. On current is more. Yeah. Anna. So that is what you are trying to find out. How will the device become fast? So all these things will lead to a fast device. On the other side, larger length, high VT, thicker gate oxide would need to. A slow device, huh? And while stuff like L effective and T ox is correlated for both N MOS and T MOS, dopant implant is independent. For example, hmm? so it can happen that you will get fast fast lot also, where just by chance both N MOS and T MOS moved towards fast direction, but you can also come to SS and FS lots. Where N MOS move to one side and T MOS move to the other. Is that part clear? Uh, sir, can you revisit the uh, concept where the VT is dependent upon the doping? I mean, uh, like so, how was VT changing? I mean, okay. So if VT, if the doping is more, let us say, what happens? So, so we are talking of the diffusion doping, right? Um, no, not just that. We're talking of doping even under the gate. The substrate doping also. Yeah. Okay. So what happens if the doping in the, under the gate changes? Because that is where the transistor action happens. Diffusion yes, and source sir. are just sources of current. Yes, sir. I know. So it's under the gate that the way you dope, that will change the transistor behavior. Hmm? So if you increase the doping a bit, what happens? The depletion width reduces. Yeah, under the diffusion, the diffusion and the substrate. Under the gate, the, the depletion width would reduce. Yes, sir. Huh? If the depletion width reduces, then what happens? Sir, but when I am taking the transistor action, I should not be talking about the depletion width, right? Because Why? that is not that, because then I'm not considering that what is vt uh, after the inversion after the depletion the inversion layer forms that is VT. yes after the after the after the depletion maximum depletion width has happened then the inversion layer sets in yes. so if i am saying that the maximum depletion layer will now happen faster so what will vt come to vt will have come with vt will happen faster vt will be low Okay. Yes. Faisal? So I have a doubt in this VT part. If the doping is more, so suppose we have a N well and the P plus doping on the source and drain. So if the, v, uh, if the doping is more in the substrate, 
then the electrons in that uh, the the region below the gate is gone now we need more vgs to remove those electron and uh, get the uh, p, uh, get the holes from the p plus so i think vt will be more in that case so uh, essentially what we are saying is that uh, when we change the doping yes. when we change the doping vt will get impacted yes ha that much i know there could be multiple directions in which my my system will move due to variations in doping in fact you will realize that in advanced technologies there are retrograde implants there are uh, super halo implants there are uh, halo implants and so such complex doping that whatever picture we are talking about fazel is uh, is largely hypothetical and just for ease of understanding okay okay the actual process is fairly complex okay with multiple multiple uh, features figuring in yes sir yes sir. so what is most important to arrive at so we you can study all that in detail when we do ssd yes, what is most important to arrive at is that doping for nmos and pmos is going to be different yes sir. it will be independent steps yes sir yes sir so vt shift of nmos and pmos will happen in different directions direction. or can happen in different directions yes sir that's the point we need to take back home okay 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 because i agree you know we will uh, i i i would have encouraged much more digressions but earlier in the course now we are you know we have to move fast towards our target of uh, coming to circuits so yes, yes you can study more reference material even in veste and harris you will have more material about how vt shift happens with doping and all that you will if you take ssd course you will read much more about how vt shift happen and how it is impacted by doping yes sir actually okay. it was discussed in the ssd course uh, that's why i asked it out yeah so uh there are, so ssd must have also discussed halo and super halo implants uh no not yet sir not yet so you will see that in all the advanced technologies where these implants are in picture it is not so obvious to say ki doping bada aur kam hua to kya hoga it is also about the depth at which doping has happened the size of the halo so many things yes sir okay understood your point sir okay so what is important to understand is some some variation sources of variation are correlated others are independent and therefore you have tt lot that is the target and ss slow and mass slow pmos ss fast and mass fast pmos and also ss and fast and mass slow pmos kind of plots hmm? yes ma'am i didn't understand why would um, increasing the doping you know um, in a decrease uh, maximum depletion with uh hum usme ja sakte hain meher but that will take us completely off this okay, so i'll just ask in office yeah we can study that later or we can discuss this in the office as is that okay <laughs> so now if if we know that my circuit can happen or can be or my wafer can be manufactured in any of these lots then it isn't it evident that i should verify all these lots when i do my design hmm by lot you meaning the die complete die lot means a set of 25 wafers okay all the 25 wafers that are in the lot for example would have one kind of doping because the doping happens uh, the uh, the doping happens in one go for for a set of 25 wafers substrate doping at least now when we talk about when we talk about halo and super halo then so this was how the lot the word lot had arrived at okay but in advanced technologies when we talk about complex uh, substrate a uh, doping engineering then you would do that doping on a wafer by wafer basis 
so that would then appear as a lot uh, then the lot variations are now limited to one wafer only okay but in older technologies the lot very the lot meant a set of 25 wafers that would go into the doping machine simultaneously so so just a trivia uh, if this lot we consider of 25 wafers so then this 25 all the wafers and all the dyes will be corresponding to one process corner right yes okay now it is not so simple it can happen that uh, so let us look at it like this when you doped them they all went towards let us say uh, fs all of them hmm? uh, but then what happened you know, the substrate doping you had done and then what happened you started to uh, deposit the gate and the gate deposition was towards the fast you know the etching of the gate happened a little more so you moved a little here then something else happened you could have moved a little here for example so there will be so many routes through which the lots could be manufactured anywhere in between these so so this whole area is the so this region is where your dyes will be manufactured these are just model representations you will get only these models so that you verify only these corner points so these are called pvt corner uh, v uh, uh, vt corners or uh, process corners that doesn't mean a lot will be manufactured only in these five points lots should be manufactured everywhere these are the corners of that distribution okay theek hai so <clears throat> are yaar yahan tak clear hai any questions okay so now coming to the next part which is that are these the only reasons why why delays or uh, something would change or could delays change because of something else also temperature hmm temperature temperature okay rajnish vdd used in the voltage of operation yes rajnish you have a question Uh, sir uh, it was uh, uh, related uh, to uh, something earlier sir sir uh, you said that uh, a lot is a set of wafers so sir uh, so uh, i understood that there will be variations in the uh, slots so uh, in in multiple wafers sir so there will be variations uh, within the wafer also no sir yes we will come to that Oh, okay. We'll come to that. Not just within a wafer, you will see that there are variations within a dye out. There are dye to dye variations out. So very okay, sir. Okay, sir. Hana? Yes. So all that will happen. Don't worry. We will we will discuss all that. It will just give me a minute. My PPT seems to be playing cranky today. so we are also talking about the next thing that we need to look at is vt variations hmm? so what happens to vt uh, the variations and delays due to vdd and temperature uh, madhur you had a question uh, yes sir so in in what you also when we try to run simulation we either do it for the process corner so you said that our uh, final device would be anywhere between in this region only so it doesn't necessarily have to be at any of the corners right so how do you decide yeah corner that? is a corner corner is just one point in reality the device can be manufactured anywhere no so so how do we simulate such that the origin that we simulate the behavior of the manufactured device and not just the corners uh do you really want to simulate intermediate points mother what would you achieve by that उटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटली
So it is not as bad, as slow as you had possibly designed it for. It could be faster, yes. Or it is not as fast as you had qualified the whole time for. It could be slower than that, yes. Okay, sir. Hmm? But do you really want to check for those intermediate transistors also? And sir, if it matters, then we should check. If it doesn't, you tell me. Matter. You tell me. You tell me. Would it matter? Maybe so. No, okay. it may. It may matter. No, no. Uh, maybe not. Like, let us logically arrive at a solution. No, because if I say that I have to test every point that could exist on that space. You see, there could be infinite points, है ना? Yes. So that would mean that my verification effort would go like anything, would expand like anything. So my design time, my time to market will go for a toss. As a designer, we cannot simply say maybe. Won't work. Okay, sir. So, so well, we know beforehand that if we are using this manufacturing process, that it will lie near fast near some of those corners, and we say it will be within this rhombus. Okay, sir. 